so right off the um, right off the bat after her diagnosis of a pendomoma, um, and this was mainly through her dad uh, and all of his research that he did, um, he discovered CERN. Um, as I mentioned before, that's the Collaborative Ependomoma Research Network. And um, they have provided so much information um, for a, a tumor that we knew nothing about. <laughs> um, you know, I, his, so Chris's tumor was a meningioma. So we, kn we knew a little bit more about meningiomas. Um, and I think a lot of people know about um, glioblastomas, because unfortunately they're so um, they're so bad, <laughs> um, and so a pendomoma came up, and we were like, "What is this?" <laughs> it's a word we had never heard before, and so CERN really helped kind of bridge that gap. CERN um, was that place where we just were able to go for all the information we needed about a pentamoma. Um, and so through that, um, Chris actually first started to um, just form some relationships with some people with CERN, just through his communication with them. And that has since grown to the whole family. Um, and then um, American Cancer Society and Relay for Life, um, you know, her parents have done Relay for Life for a long time because of his diagnosis. Um, and so that's something that obviously just grew um, now that apparently cancer runs in the family. <laughs> and, uh, and so that relationship with some of um, the people with American Cancer Society has just grown just because we've been so involved with Relay for Life and just trying to get the word out about cancer in general. Um, and then Head for the Cure. So an interesting story about Head for the Cure. Um, so Jen, I know we've talked about this before and that uh, the summer before her, her first diagnosis, we actually um, were looking for a 5K to do. Um, so I, I've always been more of a runner, Allie has not been. <laughs> um, so we wanted something to, that we could do together, and I knew Allie really wanted to get become a little bit more active, and so she had kind of found a Couch 5K program that she was going to do, and we had just picked a kind of random 5K in the Kansas City area, um, and it was Head for the Cure. Um, we knew the Corporate Woods area, and we knew that'd be a good course to start out with, um, and we figured, well, her dad has history of brain cancer, so this would be kind of a cool connection, but really didn't know anything about Head for the Cure at the time. Well, we didn't end up running it um, because Allie's symptoms began to um, exacerbate. Um, but then two months after that, she was diagnosed. Um, so very quickly, we then, were, we then came back to Head for the Cure because we remembered, oh yeah, there's that organization. <laughs> um, and so I will say, despite the fact that we came, really kind of found Head for the Cure again, um, it really wasn't until after her first and now even second recurrence that we became um, a little more involved in Head for the Cure um, and just got to know um, other survivors and other caregivers. And I think that has been um, just the, the one organization where we have just been able to meet so many other people that have gone through the same situation that we have gone through and are in so many different stages of life. Um, so Head for the Care has just been so great for, for that relational aspect and component. We feel, we feel very lucky that we, I and mean, we talk about it a lot, that we have formed the relationships that we have um, and that we're trying to do the best we can to, to, to give back in a way and to help raise awareness in this, in our own kind of unique and special way. Um, Cause I think we both felt like it, we didn't want this 
to just happen and then us do nothing with it. Um, you know, this is, this is happening to us and we, we can't change that, but we feel like there's, there's a way that we can make something bigger and better out of this. Um, so we felt very called, like it was, it was part of our role that we should do this and we needed to do this. And um, so while, while we hate the fact that it's come back a couple of times, we both recognize that had it not, we probably would not be where we are with some of these organizations. Um, so I'm, I'm think we're both thankful for that.